Today's lesson is 6.5. Today we'll be doing problem solving using distance, rate, and time formulas. Our essential question, how can you use the strategy, use a formula to solve problems involving distance, rate, and time? You can solve problems involving distance, rate, and time by using the formula below. In each formula, D represents distance, R represents rate, and T represents time. So to find the distance, you're going to use distance equals rate times time. To find the rate, you would use rate equals distance divided by time. And to find time, you're going to use time equals distance divided by rate. Let's unlock the problem. Helena drives 220 miles to visit Niagara Falls. She drives an average speed of 55 miles per hour. How long does the trip take? Use the graphic organizer to help you solve your problems. So what do I need to find out? I need to find out the amount of time, because it says how long does the trip take, right? Now what information do I need to use? Well, I need to use the distance that Helena travels and the rate of speed that our car is moving. So how will I use this information? Well, I'm gonna use the formula T equals distance divided by rate, because I'm looking for time and I will need to substitute the D and the R, and then I will divide to find the time because D divided by R equals T, right? So first I'm gonna write the formula finding time. So there's my formula. I go up here, next I have to substitute the values for D and R. So right here, there's my distance, and then there's how many miles it takes per hour. So my distance is 220 miles, and then it was 55 miles per hour. So now whenever you're doing one of these problems, I'm going to write the reciprocal. Because remember, oops, remember, I'm going to actually write it on this side because it's a little confusing. So this, this is 200. So now I've got 200. T equals 220. And put this over 1 so that it doesn't make it looks a little bit better. 55 over 1. And remember that whenever you have two fractions that you are um, doing, you're going to do the reciprocal. So you do the T chain flip. Right? So we're going to keep the 220, change the division to multiplication, and then flip the 55 over 1 to 1 over 55. Now we have 220 times 1, which is 220, and then 1 times 55, which is 55. Cross out my miles. I'm left with hours. And I've got 220 divided by 55, which is 4. So it's going to be 4 hours. So the trip is going to take 4 hours. Santiago's class traveled to the Museum of Natural Science for a field trip. To reach the destination, the bus traveled at a rate of 65 miles per hour for 2 hours. What distance did Santiago's class travel? So we're going to choose a formula. So we have distance equals rate times rate times t time, rate equals distance divided by time, or time equals distance divided by rate. So first of all, the easiest thing to do is figure out what are you trying to find. And it looks like we're trying to find the distance. So if we're trying to find the distance, then we're going to want to use this one because this one is trying to find the distance. So again, what do I need to find? I need to find the distance. What information am I going to need? I need the rate of 65 miles per hour and the time of two hours. What, what, how will I use the information? So first I will choose the formula, which we have talked about earlier, D equals R times T, because I need to find the distance. Next, I will substitute 65 miles per one hour for the rate and two hours for the time, or R and T. And last, I will multiply to find the distance. So let's do that. So first I'm gonna write the formula, D equals R times T. Then I'm gonna substitute so D equals, and for the R, I'm going to substitute the 65 over 1 hour, and this is miles. So there's my rate. And then for the T, times the T, which is 2 hours per 1. Um, and then I'm going to cross out my hours. And so now I'm going to do 65 times the 2. So I'm going to solve now. 65 times 2 is 130 over 1 which is 130, and I'm left with miles because that one did not get crossed out, miles. So Santiago traveled 130 miles. What if the, bu 
the bus traveled at a rate of 55 miles per hour for two and a half hours, how would the distance be affected? So if I substituted those new numbers of 55 and the two and a half, the distance would increase to 137.5 miles. Identify the relationship. Describe how to find the rate if you are given the distance and the time. So you're gonna substitute the values for D and T in the formula R equals D divided by T. Because if you're looking for a rate, then you want rate to be on this side of the equal sign. And once you divide D and T, you will find the rate. Marina runs at a rate of 180 meters per minute. How far does she run in five minutes? So first I need to choose a formula. And since I'm looking, I'm looking for, for how, how far she goes in five minutes, then I want the distance. So I'm going to do D equals rate time or rate times time. Next, I'm going to substitute the values. So D equals and the rate is 100 and, 180 meters per minute. So 180 per one minute, so minute, and this is meters, um, and times the t, which is time, and we wanna know how far she goes in five minutes. Next, I'm going to solve it. So we're gonna put my one over here, and 180 times five is 900 meters, because we're crossing out our minutes, and we're left with meters. So she's gonna run 900 meters in five minutes. What if Marina runs for 20 minutes at the same speed? How many kilometers will she run? When I plug in that number, I'm going to get 3.6 kilometers. A car travels 130 miles in two hours. How fast did the car go? So we can set this up again. So on this one, we're trying to find the rate. So I'm going to use the formula R equals D distance divided by time. So... R equals, and my distance was 130 miles per hour, and my time was two hours, and two, 130 divided by two is going to be 65. So 65 miles in the two, in per hour. All right, a subway car travels at a rate of 32 feet per second. How far does he travel in 16 seconds? So we have the rate in the second. So we're going to use the formula distance equals rate times the time. So if I plug in the 32 for where the R is times the time, which is 16, distance equals um, 32 times 16, We'll do that over here. So remember when we're multiplying multiple numbers, we start with the ones. Six times two is 12, carry my one. Six times three is 18, plus the one is 19. Put my space saver. I am now done with the ones place. I'm on to the tens. One times two is two. One times three is three. Add that together, I get two is zero, nine, 10, 11, and three plus one plus one is five. So it should be 500 and 12 feet okay number five says a garden snail travels at a rate of 2.6 feet per minute at this rate how long will it take the snail to travel 65 feet so we're looking for how long so we're looking for time so that means i'm going to use the formula time equals distance divided by rate so when i plug this in i get the time equals and my um my rate is 2.6 feet per one minute and then we've got our dividing um, 65 feet okay and remember that whenever you let me erase this over here so you can see it a little better okay so remember whenever you're doing division of fractions right you do keep change flip so we're gonna keep the 65 feet we're gonna change the uh, division to multiplication, and then we're gonna flip the one minute and the 2.6 feet. So this is T equals. And then we're going to multiply it out. So 65 times one is 65. One times 2.6 2.6 is 2.6. And then we're gonna divide 65 because um, we need to see how many 2.6 goes into 65, and that is 25 times 
because if I were to divide 65 divided by 2.6, I would get 25. And since my feet are crossing out, it's going to be minutes because that's what's left over. All right, the rest you're going to do on your own, and we also have a Think Central. If you need me, I will be on the carpet, and good luck.